Two thousand years later. Hey everyone, Joel Hans here. Welcome to the Joel Hans Show. You know, where we eat way too much food at excellent restaurants, eating excellent food, excellent places. And today we are at my favorite, absolute favorite guys, Mexican restaurant being Taco Embassy. So I was here about a year ago. It's been a long time since I've been here and uh, well, only a couple months. But anyway, it was a long time since I had such a spread of food and I'm so excited to be back guys. I had such a great experience back then and I'm here to have another one. So here with my good old friend, Hola amigos, welcome back to Taco Embassy. From last time, so last time I was just like, hey guys, give me the Mexican experience, and they did it so well. And so today what's awesome, they picked their own Mexican experience for me. So what do we have in front of, the, uh, in front of us today, my friend? All right, I know, I know you'll be learning some Spanish. Poquito. So these are some of the dishes we have over here. We have tacos dorados oh, right there. I love tacos dorados, so good. Oh yeah. <laughs> we have enchiladas patriotas. Beautiful. Like just all this stuff, just too good. Oh yeah, and then we have Volcanes Victoria, which is some steak and cheese, you know, in a fried tortilla with guacamole. A tostada. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then we have Alambre Sureño oh, right there. So good. This is. Uh, I remember this from last time. This thing was life changing. You like make tacos with it, man. I'm so excited. We've got oh, piña on it. Oh yeah, so there's some piña to make it sureño. And then we have tostadas de tinga, one beautiful. of our most famous dishes. Pozole. That's a beautiful stew. Oh yeah. It's award winning. Yes, yes, it's award winning back in Mexico. We won in 2016. We have camarones al chipotle, oh, damn, which is shrimp in a chipotle sauce. Looks beautiful. And then we have tacos la embajada right there. Which is steak which is a steak, and chorizo. chorizo, and cheese all together. Oh my gosh. That's all. That's our favorite, hundred percent. And last but not least, we have our favorite right there, molcajete soldadera for two people. I love the molcajete, <laughs> man. That is so awesome, guys. I'm so excited. Oh, and and, this. yes, you have you have a soup right there. Is sopa azteca. Sopa azteca. Let me let me serve it for you right now. Okay. So sopa azteca. It's tortilla chips, avocado, queso fresco. And then we put sopa, uh, sopa de tomate on the on the top. Tomato soup. Oh yeah. 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 Okay. There you go, buddy. Yeah, All right. Good. Okay, guys, that is uh, that is a delicious looking meal right there. All right, guys. Well, <laughs> that's about it. I have such a delicious spread of food, guys. World's biggest Mexican food challenge, 2021. Let's get started. All right, everyone, so to say I'm excited would be an absolute understatement, guys. I am so excited. I love this cuisine, guys. Mexican is my favorite. The food is here is so good, and so let's get started. I'm gonna start with these tostadas. This is the Volcanas Victorias, I believe it's called. So we got steak, uh, basically guac, pico, on the tostada. Mmm. 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 Oh man, you hear that crunch? Oh here, actually this is what I should start with. People like the one bite stuff, so last time I one bite a taco, let's do a, a Tacos Dorados. Oh boy. Try some salsa. Mm. 
man, I love flavors. I love sauces, I love salsas. Mm. And this is more food than I had last year. They beefed it up, no pun intended. Mm. Man, I love that beef, that pico. The flavor is just so fresh. So crisp. Mm. The delicate nature of that lime, that pepper, the tomato, the onion. And man, I mean, all these dishes are so much bigger than last year. Mm. The lumber alone. It's huge. Mm. Well, this is fantastic. And everything looks fantastic. Mm. Try some salsa verde. And the enchiladas look fantastic. Jeez, man, there's so much good food here. I'm so excited. Mmm. Mmm. I love the salsa verde. There's green tomatoes in it. Mm. 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 I'm totally gonna be making a mess. Mm. But I don't care. Mm. Amazing. Might be end. And that guacamole, such a nice richness, savory. Mm. This top is Dorados, we got sour cream, queso fresco, a little bit of pico on top. Mm. Beautifully fried and crispy. All right, chicken in there. I would eat the gecko. This is actually one of my favorite hot sauces ever. And I'm so excited they have it here. Mm. 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 Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is that flavor. Mm. Chili habanero. What the hell? My favorite mm. Oh boy. I love the delicate nature of this thing right here. Some of that fried tortilla. I just make sure to go, oh yeah. Cause oh yeah. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Amazing. Mm. Mm. Have one of these enchiladas. So enchiladas? Red salsa, green salsa, fully dressed, the chicken in the middle. Mm. Oh boy, guys. This looks so good. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. Oh man. We got the chicken inside the enchilada already. There's some beautifully sauced. The extra chicken in the middle. Mm. And pico. Mm. Mm. So fresh. Try the red enchilada. Mm. Mm. Hot dang it. Those peppers, guys. 
Mm. Something about Mexican salsas. There's just such a nice complexity of elaborate spices. And yet simplicity. It makes it goes all so well together. While I'm at it, grab some tortillas. An essential item. Guys, let's go get this alambre. This alambre is just one to, I remember from last year. It's so delicious. Let's try to scoop this thing on up. Ooh, got some gooey, gooey cheeses in there. Some delicious meats. Just look at it. Look at it. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mmm. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Guys, I didn't have this with the pineapple last year. Holy jumps. That is so delicious. Mm. That is so delicious. And just look at this, guys. Cheese, peppers, onions, that steak, that beef. Mm. That sweetness of that pineapple. Mm. Those crisp peppers, the savoriness of that beef, guys. Mm. Mm. And the flavor that cheese adds. Absolutely amazing. That's definitely one of my favorite dishes, guys. I love it. Absolutely fantastic. So good. Mm. Yeah. Grab this, uh, some more of these enchiladas. Mm. I just can't say enough. The flavors, oh. That alambre though, I didn't even put salsa on it. There's so much flavor in it. Mm. Hot damn. Mm. It's so perfect. Mm. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I love this dish. We have the red sauce and the green salsa. Such a nice contrast. You get more like floral notes almost. Green side. Red side, you get some more of those traditional pepper flavors. Just phenomenal. Got queso fresco, the sour cream. Adds such a nice richness. Amazing, amazing. Got some more of this alambre, guys. This is, I think, the mocha head day was definitely my favorite dish last time. But guys, this is such a, this might be on par, and if not, it's such a close second. So we got nice gooey, oh my gosh, meatiness and cheesiness. And this is huge. Look at the size of that taco, guys. Huge. Mm. Oh my God. So that pineapple is a game changer. I was like, I remember being that good last year. But it's gotten even better. Try a little bit of my favorite hot sauce on there. I'll say a little bit, but it was actually a lot. Mmm. 
Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. That long break is fantastic. Damn, that's good. Here goes, we got some uh, tostadas. The pollo de tinga, I believe it's called. Beautiful chicken. Crispy. Tostada. Mm. Hot damn. Mm. 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 Oh no. Whoops. Accidents happen. Mm. This is such like a nice appetizer. It's savory, but very balanced. With the heat and the kind of chili flavors of the chicken. Not much, this one's huge. Huge. Thank you. You're welcome, man. Just too good. Try to arrange everything here. Let's try the soup in the meantime, guys. So the, I'm sorry, I forget the name. It's just, I'm just in bliss. I'm too much in bliss with all this food. But, <clears throat> excuse me, whew. Remember I had the sopa, the tomate, tomato soup. Holy jumpers. Hot damn. Damn. Okay, that is, oh my gosh. Mm. Mm. Holy crap. Muy bien. Damn, I'm trying to speak, but I can't stop eating it. Holy crap. Hold on. More words are coming. Mm. Oh, okay. Whew. I can think again. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay. Whew, the soup is gone now. I can, I can actually think again. Holy crap, guys. Rich, creamy tomato. The tortillas in there add this beautiful texture. It just reminds me of like, it's bliss. It's bliss in your mouth. It's almost like a, but it's really, it has nice sweetness to it. Like I said, that sweet tomato, creamy. Mm. That texture that corn tortilla adds, amazing. Very good. While we're on to the soups. Nah, actually, let's go for some of these chipotle guys. Chipotle shrimp camarones. All right, let's try these shrimp out, guys. Super excited for that. Camarones and chipotle. I know this is a dish to use some tortillas with. Oh, oh my gosh, the smell of that beautiful shrimp, guys. This sauce looks so creamy. Oh, mm. oh my, oh my gosh. Let me try to show you this, guys. All right, we're getting such a buttery, a beautiful buttery flavor, which they did cook this in butter, guys. Those shrimp, garlic, butter. Mmm, mmm. A beautiful crunch from that shrimp. 
a really good bit of heat from that chipotle. Wow, in that cream sauce, I actually almost get some like lobster vibes, just like how beautifully that butter, that cream sauce is really sitting in with it. Put some of this, got a little bit like almost salad with it, but put that right on some avocado, some refried beans, refritos, a little bit of that rice on there as well. Sometimes I see that places, sometimes I don't. Look at that. It's a beautiful looking taco right there. Cheers, y'all. Mm. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Mm. It's just so enjoyable. Mm. The staff are saying this is one of their favorite dishes, and I can see why, guys. Just that creamy seafood. I like, I just, oh. I just need a minute, guys. It's so good. This is crazy. Oh, I'm just baffled, truly baffled. How can it be this good? Oh, yeah, that creamy shrimp, it just does something. Like I said, though, really good amount of heat. Like, very, like I would almost go to say this is quite spicy. Mm, that warm corn tortilla. I gotta show you guys, it's just, this is beautiful. Yeah, this is excellent. Like, in fact, this is just, just fantastic. Man, yes, that shrimp. Do you like the shrimp? Dude, Which you pulled with? So good. <laughs> yeah, there so we good. go, man. Mm. 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 So creamy. That cream so savory. It is succulent. This is a dish that tantalizes my taste buds. 100%. Taste bud tantalizing. We got a little bit of pina on these greens. That's a contender for another favorite. Holy crap, that is so good. Mm. Woo! Boy, oh boy. Get back to the guys. I love these things. So, so, so good. Just look at that chipotle cheese. Let me try to do that again. I'll try to show you guys on camera. So I can get a good grab. Grab that tortilla, dip that in. Just look at the stringiness of that cheese, guys. I'm not even gonna lie. Often cheese is not always my favorite thing on dishes, but this is just absolutely fantastic. Mm. Thank you. A long break, guys. Definitely a must-have item here. And that pineapple. The pineapple is a game changer. And I don't know what else is in it, guys. There's something else in it. Just the spices, the flavors they're using. It really tickles my fancy. How's that for a description, guys? Just, oh my gosh. Holy crap. That is insane. Sorry, I keep showing you guys this, but it's just so beautiful. Oh my Lord. Mm. 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 Oh my gosh. It's too good. Mm. Too good. Oh.
Let's see, try it with some of the sauces. I've had it without the sauces. Delicious, no complaints. This would be a rat, real big one. Real, real big. Honestly though, like this is a thing, you don't even need the tortillas to eat it. Like, just by itself, the dish is fantastic. Fan flipping tastic. Wonderful. Wonderful. I love that. Lombre with pineapple, guys. Must get. 10 out of 10. Next. Ooh. Ooh. This is a lot of food, everybody. Oh, but it's damn good. Damn good. Mm. It's got the whole mocha head to here. Holy junk. This is a huge dish by itself, guys. This is my favorite dish from last time. It's literally so big. I swear that one mocha head day, it feeds two people like really, really well. So I'm gonna try one of these tacos here, guys. This is uh, one of the gentleman's favorites. He was recommending. So it's chorizo, steak, Looks like I got some pico. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, Call this to the chef. <clears throat> some pico on top, which I love chorizo, guys. I love beef. Not familiar with chorizo, it's like sausage. Mmm. Oh, man. This is huge. Okay. That chorizo, getting that lovely cured sausage flavor. Such a nice dynamic, guys. I love it. I love that flavor. Mm. I have a very spicy salsa over here. This is ghost peppers. So be very careful with it. But I will try it. Because you have such a rich, heavy flavor that chorizo. It just goes so well with that pico on it. And I think even like that little bit of that heavy spice won't kill me because of the beautiful of the trees. Let's find out. Oh, there's definitely some heat to that though. Mm. A lot of heat. Really nice almost ancho flavor. Woo! Got a burp. Excuse me. Oh, definitely some cheese on this one as well. There you go, some good burps. Oh, you know what? Throwing a little bit of that Valentina, guys. This is a very, well, it's a Mexican hot sauce. And I like it. And when you're eating Mexican cuisine, the salsa, or hot sauce as we might call it, is good. It's never enough, guys. Just that flavor. Mm. Mm. Super impressed with the size of these, though. Like, huge. This is also one of the gentleman's favorites. And I can see why. Very, very delicious. Like I said, that just that, that cured flavor, man, just does something. Just does something, folks. Mm. What'd you call this one again, my friend? Taco Embajada. That. Taco La Embajada. Beautiful. <laughs> I like it. Muy bien. Enrico. Mm. 
more grande bite. That was a big bite. Very big. Let's see what else we got here. We got the pozole. They're award winning stew, guys. This is a pork stew. What I love so, was so much about this is, guys, I had the, my like first taste of authentic Mexican cuisine here last year. But then I got to go to Mexico, guys, and I got to see all these cuisines. And I was so familiar with them, and I knew them because of this place. It's that authentic. And this is still, for the record, my favorite Mexican restaurant ever. Ever. So, got some onions and absolutely. Got some of this spice. Maybe oregano? Something? In the pozole. This is a brown chili pepper. They said, guys, watch out. Mas picante. It smells spicy. I'll put a little bit in there. We'll try it out. I can always add more. Can't add less. You mix that into your stew. It's got some lovely avocado in there as well. It's a corn and pork stew. And like I said, guys, award winning recipe. Uh -huh. Obviously that. Beautiful. I remember this being very good last year. Mm. Actually tastes even better this year. <laughs> I remember this tasting good. This is very, very good. Mm. Okay, I definitely got some of that spice in there. Wow, that's a really spicy one. I got a big glob of it. Man, that's beautiful. The textures of the corn in there. The pork is so soft and supple. Avocado in there. Perfect amount of salt in there. Really nice spice. I'm getting like some pepper. Is that like oregano mixture there? That's fantastic. It feels very homey. Just like, makes you feel warm. Well, like if you were sick, heaven forbid you'd be sick right now, let's be honest. But hypothetically, you know, you're like home sick and you like want like a soup. Mm. This is exactly what you want. Like no doubt. Because it just has all the, if there's everything you want, great flavor, warmth, but yet it has texture and it's soft. So there's no chore, no laborious eating. Yet you get the satisfaction of chewing something very delicate. I have a cuddle in there. That is a great flavor. That kind of earthy tone really complements this. Which is super cool. Because I didn't expect that. I tell you though, they weren't lying. This stuff is spicy as heck. Good thing I put a little bit in there to try it first. Woo! Because the soup itself is not like picante, like spicy, hot spicy, like, you know, burning spicy. That stuff is spicy. Woo! Muy bien, Enrico. I like this a lot. The Pozzola guy is definitely a Mexican tradition, a favorite. And I can see why. So good. So good. Last but not least, my mocha hete. My favorite item, guys. And like I said, this is a lot of food. So what I love about this, guys, is served in a stone mortar. This is a lava rock right here. It's still pretty hot. I can't be too hot to pick up. But a stone lava rock mortar. And what I love about this is like it keeps things warm. So like I eat all these other items, and this is still warm. So I know the food's also gonna be warm. They like flame it, it's super cool. They give you all the salsas. And then a dish of tortillas, so you get to make tacos out of it, which I'm so excited for. 
Perfect timing. There you go. <laughs> the yes, better, man. <laughs> this is beautiful. I can tell it's still going to be warm too, which I'm so excited for. So there you go, guys. Some lovely warm flour tortillas. Sorry. Corn tortillas. Corn tortillas. Corn tortillas. Sorry, guys. Beautiful corn tortillas, guys. That real, the real flavors, those real tortillas. And my beautiful mocajete. Pepinos, some cucumbers, got some avocado on top, got some queso fresco. And then in here, I know we got steak, we have chicken, chorizo beef, the chorizo, then chorizo steak. Everything. Oh, I think there's Nepali cactus in it too. Maybe even peppers. There's a lot of stuff in here. To make a long story short. So, let's dive into it, guys. I love this, guys. Just like a beautiful, like, it's a dish of meat. I'm just gonna get in here, guys. We'll get messy. I don't really mind, to be honest. I eat with my hands all the time. I'm doing it all day. Oh yeah, guys, this is still all steaming. Some of this actually may be too hot to eat. Oh man, fried onions, yes. Got some fried onions down there, guys. Like I said, no, the Nepali cactus. Oh yeah, that's that right there. Nepali cactus, guys. Some fried onions. Damn, this looks good. Oh, mmm, mmm. Damn, whenever they're frying those onions in, guys, so much flavor, so savory. I was, I'll try it out the salsa first. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. 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 Oh yeah. Woo. All right. This bite is mostly the steak. And then like I can see a chicken here. That was a little more chorizo. Mm. Damn. That is fantastic. Nice and hot. Ooh. Very hot. Here's some of my chorizo. Have a good old chorizo bite right here. It's funny, so I went to Mexico and this last trip I was there for 23 days. And out of the 23 days, 21 of those days, I had tacos. And when I say like I had tacos, I don't, don't, I don't just mean like, oh guys, well I just made a mess. Well, I dropped pork on me to be specific. I don't just mean like, oh, I had one taco. No, 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 no. I'm talking like, I had tacos for 21 out of 23 days, guys. That's insane. I like tacos a lot. That's like over 90% of my trip, I ate tacos. Wow. I'll put a little bit of the uh, salsa verde on this one. Let's try it there. Nice little bit of tomate, green tomate, that freshness with that chorizo. Very good, very rich. Getting that savory chorizo. You know what? I remember last time. Last time I think, and I almost quote, I said, man, you could eat this just out of the freaking bowl without tortillas. I don't remember if I actually got to do that or not. So I'm gonna put that theory to the test right now. And see if eating it straight out the mocha hete, straight out of the mortar, is is the thing to do. Nice steaming bit. Do some chicken, some beef on that bite, the cactus, the onions. Mmm. Oh boy. Mmm. Man, whatever they cook that onion and cactus in, woo. They totally did it in like some kind of beef juice or the meat juices went down and are soaking in those things right now. Cause that is like, that's just phenomenal. I 
It's like, and each bite is kind of different. Like I said, so if I go there, it's more beef. If I go over here, it's a little more chorizo. Mm. Got a bit of onions in that bit. So, really, it's like in everything I want. But like I said, it's, it's identifiable on the portion to which I get out of there. The cactus, oh, that cactus had juices, like I said, guys, these juices are that's like sitting at, at, like in those blah, 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 can't talk. Damn, that was a good bite. Mm. Mm. Ah. Overwhelmed, guys. Mm. Yeah, like I said, guys, this, the cactus and those onions and those vegetables, damn, man, they are sitting so good. Mm. Just the juices underneath, guys. Mm. Dynamic. Oh my gosh. So much flavor. How are we doing over here, brother? Doing really well, man. So much flavor in this thing. I know, man. Right? It's, <laughs> it's ridiculous. I am uh, I'm at a loss for words. You know, one of the things we recommend to customers, <laughs> take, just take a tortilla and make a taco of everything. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good point, like I was saying, because you get like little bits. So just everything all at once. Need more tortillas or you're good? I'm good for now, my friend. Awesome. Enjoy, bro. Let's do it again. Like you said, I definitely some more beef, more chorizo. We'll do it with everything. Including the guac. I'm sorry, the avocado. Here's fresco. Here we got some beef. For show. We got some cactus and onions. Ooh, that was a lot. A lot of onions. Throwing some of that chorizo chicken right there. Chorizo and chicken. Uh, I think that's, ooh, excuse me. I think that's all of it. Ooh, excuse me. Woo. Put a little bit of pico de gallo, which for those who are unfamiliar, basically it's like peppers, tomatoes, onions, lime juice. Sometimes it's just tomatoes, onions, lime juice. Just a very fresh salsa. Try this one with a little bit of red salsa, the last one with some green. Oh yeah. And this looks killer. Beautiful taco. Beautiful taco. Mmm. <laughs> that was a good recommendation. So to answer the question though, before I got sidetracked, you can definitely just eat it with a spoon. So that theory is proven true. All right, so got about 8% left on this battery. I do have a second battery with a little bit of juice, not too much. So I'll try to eat this quickly, because then I know we have dessert, guys. Last time I had churros here, fantastic, the best churros I've ever had. They come with like a really thick, um, kind of Mexican caramel. So, so, so good. So let's try to get, let's, well, really, I'm gonna get through this. Um, and we gotta get some churros, because I'm so excited, guys. Love churros. Make them fresh to order, of course. We just can't beat it. Can't beat it. Caramel. Is it avanilla? No, that's hazelnut. Hmm. I forget what caramel is in Spanish, but nonetheless, what the Or something. Let me know down below. I'm sure somebody else knows. Maybe it's cajeta? 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 Caramel? That sounds more right. Cajeta? Something like that. But I guess if you like this video so far, definitely give it a like. It uh, helps keep me motivated, guys. Keep bringing you this crazy content, guys. Bring you the best food, the best endeavors. So I appreciate you. I appreciate you watching. I love you, in fact.
I think Kaheta, Kaheta, Kaheta is really my final answer in regards to the caramel in Spanish. Beautiful, juicy, eating it out of a stone mortar. Each bite of an avocado is really, really good. Oh, that's another thing. Totally could have got some guac to put on that as well. Fantastic. But that's right. Absolutely delicious, guys. Taco Embassy. I will say, just as good as I remember. The things even being better than I remember. The Zole was better than I remember. The Alambre was better than I remember. So good. Mulgate was fantastic. I just had one of those last time I was here. I came, like, not last time I did the video. Came here leisurely. Mm. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful food. Great date spot. They have three different dining rooms, which is really interesting. So, yeah, Cooper, super cool rooms, guys. Super cool decor. Um, all the different, like, like, like I said, it's almost like three restaurants in one, but, like, in the best way possible. Um, but, yeah, definitely we'll, uh, we'll get some churros now, guys. Those are my favorite. Again, how, like, made here, warm, and just absolutely delicious. All right, uh, holy, okay. We know how much you love churros. Damn. So here's some churros con cajeta for Man. you. There you go, buddy. And caramel, cajeta? Yes, cajeta is the caramel. There you go, guys. Uh, there you go, I remembered. Okay. Just sip it, buddy. Dude, all right, this is awesome. <laughs> Look at all the churros. Thank you. Holy crap, guys. That was not what I was expecting. Last time I just had an order or two. I think I had two orders, guys. This is, I'm impressed. I can't say enough, guys. This staff here is just absolutely fantastic. Mmm. Mmm. Uh. Mm. Just leave me. I'm good. I'm good. Mm. Oh my gosh, guys. That fried dough. That cinnamon, that sugar. Canela. Cinnamon. Azuka. Sugar. Dip in that caramel. Oh my gosh. Mm. That's where the visual. Look at that, guys. Holy crap. Jeez Louise. Oh my gosh. Ah. Uh, Oh my gosh. This is just insanity in the best way possible. Mm. Mm. Guys, warm fried dough, cinnamon sugar, caramel. So good, so good. Mm. Well, I definitely wasn't expecting all these guys. Shout out to everybody here at Top Embassy. Truly amazing. I'm gonna start to the finish. Couldn't have asked for a better experience. Time I undo my pants. It's a pretty stretchy waist anyway, but maybe this will give me a little more room. Oh, a little bit. Oh. Sometimes the that popping that button can be 500 horsepower. That one was about 50 horsepower. Mm. Hot diggity dog. You are so beautiful to me. Can't you see? Sure. You're all I came for. Not really, I came for everything, but 
Holy crap. It's too good, guys. I'm a big fried dough person. There are nowhere in Shadija. It's just too good. Oh. oh, so good, guys. Oh, but so many churros. So much food. Mm. I ain't complaining, but objectively, a lot of food. Oh, you did it, man. I'm impressed. I'm yeah. impressed yeah. right now. It's good. It's a lot of food. Yeah, I know. A lot of churros, too. <laughs> but they're very delicious. There you go, man. Last one, everybody. So much deliciousness. Mm. Mm. Well, everybody, absolutely delicious, guys. Amazing time here at Taco Embassy. She sent the staff guys, like I said, has treated me more than well. I gotta go make sure I don't get a parking ticket. But I can't say enough guys. If you're ever in St. Catharines, Niagara area, Taco Lemon is a must come. In fact, like I said, my favorite Mexican restaurant everywhere. And especially in Ontario, guys. So that but until next time, hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, stay happy, healthy, hungry, happy, eating. Don't do what we do. Yeah, get yourself some food, some good food. Just don't eat like me. Don't eat this much. Amazing though, guys. That's about it. Great food, great people, lots of it. So there, everybody, till next time, have a lovely day. Dang now the cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there everybody, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now.